I was in an interview one time and I asked the person, why do you want to work here? And the person literally responded with, because this is a cool company. That was it. And it was in that moment that I knew I gotta make a video about how to answer this question. Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Brittany Hales and this is Hales Consulting, a business that motivates you to take ownership of your career. Today we're talking about the interview question, why do you want to work here? Now your nerves may drive you to very vaguely answer the question like the homie I described earlier in the video, but as you can imagine, that is not the best answer. So because I want you to go into your next interview with confidence when answering this question today, I'm gonna to walk you through a three-step formula, three steps only, on how to answer this question. Question. Before we even get started here, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Do also do not forget to follow Hales Consulting on Instagram for more career tips every single day. Also, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on pretty much every platform you can think of. So do not forget to follow us. So the first part of this formula is the I'm looking for statement. A lot of people make the mistake of when answering this question, just talking about how cool the company is or how much you love the company. If you really want to impress, the way to kick off this answer is a I am looking for statement. And what I mean by that is think about what it is that you want out of your career, what are your career desires? What are your goals? Like, what is it that you're looking for in a company or in a role? And don't forget about when I say career desires, I don't strictly mean about what the company does or what you're looking for the company to do. I'm also talking about the fact of, let's say compensation is high on your list or flexibility is high on your list. Talk about that as well. If that's what's important to you, that's what you want to bring up. Now, your I am looking for statement could be something like, throughout my entire career, I have worked at large media industries in the diversity department. And what I'm currently looking for is a company dedicated to niche diversity issues or specific diversity issues. So you just let them know that here's what you typically did. Now that you've determined what you want to do with your career, Here's what you now want to do. The moral to the story is get clear about your career goals and your desires in order to create your I am looking for statement. So the second part of this formula is the I know this company offers statement. For this second part of the formula, you are providing evidence based facts about how they, what they do aligns with exactly what you're looking for out of your career. News articles, numbers, metrics, initiatives, anything that they've done as a company that aligns with what it is that you want, this will really resonate with them because they can see like, wow, you actually want to work here. Yeah, of course, like <laughs> the company being cool is something that you can bring up, but how does cool align with what you want? And to be honest, cool fades. Like what could be cool to you today may not be cool to you tomorrow. And they know that. And they're not looking to hire somebody who's into fad desires or fad interests. So make sure that you're getting real about what you want out of your career and aligning that to what they do as a company. It shows that you're invested in them as a company just as much as they are invested in you. So let's go back to the diversity program manager example. So this person's already stated that they no longer want to work at a big firm that releases diversity initiatives every now and again. They want to work at a company dedicated to diversity. Diversity is at its core and it's creating space and amplifying the voices of underrepresented communities. Now they need to provide evidence on how that company does that or has proven that they do that. So the I know this company offer statement for somebody in this role could look something like this. I know that this company worked on a beautiful initiative to highlight Native American women in the food industry. I also know that every single office has gone through an extended effort to make sure that every area of the office is accessible to people in wheelchairs. What this statement does is let the individual know you guys are not just talking the talk, you're also walking the walk. Now the third part of this formula is the I looked forward to working at a company where statement. You've said what you want, You've let them know that they do what you want and that's why you want to work there. And of course, again, you don't have to literally say, I look forward to working at a company where, but the reason why I came up with that is because it lets you kind of formalize in your head the idea of wrapping it all up. And when you're wrapping it up, make it very concise. You've already given detail on what you want and how they provide what you want. So now all you're just saying is, that's why I want to work here. A lot of people at the end of a question, they're just like, yeah, that is not a good way <laughs> to answer a question. A good way to remember how to answer a question is just to repeat what they asked you. So you can say, because here's what I want out of a career and here's what y'all do, that's why I wanna work here. Boom.
mic drop. You don't have to go into all these details again, you've already said it. So just wrap it up very nicely by saying, I look forward to working at a company where XYZ happens and XYZ happens. Seal the deal. Before we wrap things up here, I do wanna highlight that this answer should not be more than a minute or a minute to 30 seconds long. This is not a long answer that you have to provide so many examples, like keep it short, keep it concise and straight to the point. Anything longer than that is probably you rambling. So practice answering this question by yourself. Another major thing, as I say in every single video, especially the how do I prepare for an interview, never memorize an answer, memorize your experiences. Also, the more you practice, the more natural it's gonna feel. If you memorize an answer, you're gonna probably forget it and then psych yourself out in an interview. So don't memorize the answer, memorize the experience and practice. As I said earlier in this video, I am a career coach. I had to turn off some of my appointments in January because I was getting super booked and it's just me right now in this business, but I picked things back up in February. So if you are in the position where you want to start practicing for an interview, and also you don't have to wait until you have an interview to start practicing. You should always be practicing for an interview if you're searching for a job because you're going to get one eventually. Set up some time with me um, during a mock interview session by emailing me at info at hillsconsulting.com or you can also just schedule a mock interview directly by clicking the link in the description box. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos just like this one. Like this video, share it with everyone you know. Also comment down below what are some other interview questions that really trip you up that you need help with. Like I love making these videos because I think interviews are the place where people get the most stuck. So definitely open to hearing any interview question that you want to see me answer in the next one. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.